Thank you so much for joining us for Midweek Connect. Uh, we are looking at some videos from Core 52. We started this in January and now we're on week 20. If you are still with us, just pat yourself on the back. Super job staying with it. If you haven't been with us for a while, just feel free to jump back in. No worries about the time that was missed. Just jump in here with us on week 20. So this is about prayer. Prayer. So let me read the model prayer from Matthew chapter 6, beginning in verse 9. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Just, just a powerful prayer, right? Um, it's traditionally known as the Lord's Prayer, but the, Jesus gave it to us as a way that we would pray, not just as a way that he prayed. So I, I think a better description is the model prayer. But I, I just want to focus really on two words today. The first two words, our Father. I think that communicates something that's so powerful and so available to us, is that God is our Father. And it's the idea of accessibility and availability. Now, I know we may have had different experiences with our earthly father. Some, some of those were great, some were good, some were average, some were terrible. And if, if you did not have a good experience with your earthly father, I just really encourage us, as hard as, as it is, to allow God to be in that space for you, to be as your heavenly father, to redeem that and be in that space, which has been a very hurt, uh, broken, and empty space for you. But as we think about that, we recognize that for a lot of us, myself included, we wonder, why do I not pray more often? Why am I not more diligent in prayer? Why do I not believe in prayer as much? Why am I hesitant sometimes to step in to the place of prayer? And there's not always easy answers to that question. Uh, there are some of you out there, I'm going to guess a minority, who is just prayer so natural for, and the rest of us are a little bit maybe envious of you in that way. Uh, and would like to do better at it. But how can, maybe for a lot of us, how can it, it just become more natural to us? Well, hopefully the fact that it starts out our Father, just recognizing that even though God is all-powerful, creator, all-holy, He still cares about us, His children. He knows us, He loves us, He's there for us. So that's just what I want to leave us with today, is that God, because of what Jesus has done, because God sent Jesus to make a way that we could be in this unhindered relationship with him. We don't need any person to, other than Jesus to mediate for us in God. He's made it available to us. What an amazing blessing. So I just want to encourage us. I want to encourage us to go to God anytime, in any space, with all of our feelings, all of our hopes and dreams, to just go to God. So let's practice that as we finish up in prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, God, we thank you so very much. God, we honor your name. We thank you for making yourself so accessible to us. It, it absolutely blows our mind that in your all-powerful identity and who you are, that you could be so accessible. You could know us and love us so much. It is amazing to us. God, we pray that we won't miss out on this opportunity to communicate with you and to build our relationship with you stronger, to experience the guidance in our lives. God, our prayer right now would be for all of us who are listening in to this, that we would just be convicted uh, about the opportunity, God, we have to communicate with you through prayer any time, and that you love us and you always welcome it. God, we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Midweek Connect. We look forward to seeing you Sunday at 845 or 1030. For more information, visit our website, norwinchristianchurch.com.